These are my top 10 reasons why going to the moon and space exploration in general have benefited you and me and all of humanity. Number one, I think, has to be the CAT scan. This technology was developed by NASA to detect defects in rocket nozzles and other parts of the spacecraft. Clever engineers and medical specialists saw the potential for scanning inside the body. CAT scans have saved at least 10,000 lives from lung cancer alone in just the United States. Think of all the other things that CAT scans have been able to do for early detection of disease and illness, and we can easily see how practically every single one of us has likely been affected through the lives saved and improved by that medical technology. And that's just for starters. How about solar panels? And not only do they power our satellites, we'll talk about satellites later, and all kinds of other technology, they are now part of the cornucopia of energy sources we have available to us. Our society is incredibly dependent on electricity, don't you know? And it has been that way for at least a century, and there's no chance that's going to be reduced anytime soon. So the more ways that we can get electricity for ourselves, the better that we can in fact make society because everything is dependent on it. Our transportation, the medical technology, recreation, construction, everything. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because obviously I talk a lot about foreign languages and cultural and historical things on this channel, but my background is actually primarily in science and aviation. So I take for granted that everybody kind of knows that space exploration is one of the most important and amazing things that we've ever done as a species for our own benefit. Say nothing of all the amazing things we've discovered out in the universe and in our solar system about the Earth with our satellite technology. It Like all of that is is incredible and I think worth it on its own, but the totally secondary and not deliberate ancillary benefits have utterly transformed human society for the better. And that's just so evident to me that I thought I'd make a little video and talk about at least a few of the impressive things that space exploration has brought to the planet. Because there's an old saying, why spend money on space exploration, on sending people to the moon or into orbit or whatever, when there are problems here on Earth? And I understand that. The world has lots of problems, now perhaps more than ever. But so many solutions to problems on Earth would have been impossible without having sent people to the moon. So you can only imagine if we develop the technology to be able to survive in space for much longer periods of time on other planets to explore them, the incredible things that we would discover that would improve life on Earth. Like this video, I'm just going to do like the top 10, but it's unbelievable how utterly transformed our society has been for the better in tiny little ways that has made it just so much better for every single person on the planet that have lifted people out of poverty, medical technologies and medicines and all kinds of things either directly coming from space exploration or space spin-off technologies and spin-offs and spin-offs. One important statistic that I thought was especially interesting is that apparently for every dollar spent on space exploration, the benefit is five to seven dollars in the, the whole economy. That has the potential to lift everybody up. That gives everybody more of an opportunity. It's not a single pie that we're all fighting over. It's benefits that are augmented, that are increased through the development of these technologies and techniques. Is that to diminish the importance of the problems here on Earth? Not at all. But space exploration is, in fact, part of the solution. And if you consider that less than a half of a percent of the United States budget alone has been spent on space exploration for as long as I can remember, and how little, how little money being spent on space technology that end up benefiting all of the human race, I I think it's worth it. So let me talk about a few more of them. Heart transplants, right, heart transplants, and bypass surgeries, and a whole bunch of other things that have saved so many lives. I could talk on and on and on about the medical technology, but I'm going to leave that aside, at least for the moment, because I want to mention water filtration, being able to have compact systems to save people, for example, in war-torn countries, or in places where there has been severe drought or disasters, to help people just have water because we absolutely need water to live. And if you have a group of people, a town, a village that doesn't have clean water, then you can imagine how bad that can get very quickly. It's, you know, something as simple as just keeping someone alive in the extreme conditions of space are now keeping people alive all over the planet in emergency conditions. And speaking of emergencies, what's more of an emergency than a fire? Firefighters today benefit from the fire retardant technology, again developed to help protect astronauts in 
space flight. The firefighters themselves have benefited from this because they've been able to survive in much more significant infernos and also save the people there because if the firefighter can't go into a building with such extreme and hot conditions, then the people who are trapped in there can't be saved at all. And for the people who have suffered the misfortune of losing a limb, they have the opportunity to have that limb replaced with mechanical technology, really space age technology, so that they can recover a significant amount of their mobility to be able to live a life that would have been impossible if they couldn't get that limb replaced for most of us who don't have to suffer such a thing. We, we take it for granted that we have all of our fingers and all of our toes and both of our legs and arms, but I'm going to talk about the, the pacemakers. Just leave that for maybe another video. How can you tell if someone was a pilot? Well, they'll tell you, and I will too. I was a pilot, and I can tell you it's really great to be able to have the technology to de-ice an airplane, whether by external means or from within the aircraft itself. Because if you're flying and you get through some kind of a weather condition that you didn't expect, or you have to go through a cloud, it got colder than you could have anticipated, we'll talk about weather and the weather satellites a little bit later, then potentially ice could form on the wing, disrupt the laminar flow over the top of it, and the plane can lose control and crash and people die. These and so many other aviation technologies are why it is so safe to fly. I know it seems kind of intimidating for some people or even seems like it could be more dangerous than driving a car, but I assure you, statistically, it is not. And speaking of airplanes, because I really like talking about airplanes, even though I don't seem to do it very much in this channel, maybe I should do more of that. Write in the comments if you want to hear me talk more about aviation. Anyway, we have fly-by-wire technology, say nothing of the GPS and all that. We have systems powered by what in the past were lightweight revolutionary computers designed originally to send the Apollo astronauts all the way around the moon and land on the moon and come back. All of that was possible thanks to that fly-by-wire technology. And virtually every aircraft built today has that technology in it. Again, this saves lives and increases the amount of air traffic that's possible so more people can get from here to there and increases the safety of the entire system and of everybody involved. This is a good thing. It might never have happened without sending people to the moon. And then there's the oil spill technology. So oil spills are these terrible events and just let's, let's hope they never happen again, but it'll probably happen again. And when it does clean up possibilities, not just from the satellites being able to find the thing, identify the area from space with great precision, but also the ability to clean it up, help out the environment, all the poor animals. I know, right? Bleeding heart for the animals, but all the animals and the plants, the whole ecosystem are something that we interact with and that it is very much to our benefit for all of our health, not just for the plants and animals in the wild, that we are able to clean those up as swiftly and as efficiently as possible. Finally, I'll talk about space blankets. So space blankets just look like this silly little thing, right? But space blankets are amazing and have saved so many lives because your run-of-the-mill emergency kit has a space blanket in it. And we're just like, oh, okay, great. You know, wrap that around someone who's been, uh, you know, victim, uh, and it could be in a car crash or you know, something like that. But the, the, these are so amazing because they're so lightweight and so compact. And if you're especially in severe conditions, severe weather conditions, if it's extremely cold, if you didn't have the ability to carry this extremely lightweight, compactable little blanket, it would be so much harder to keep a person alive, especially if someone's had been in some kind of uh, an accident or if they've gone through a physical trauma, just to be able to keep them warm and dry for uh, at least for a temporary period of time. If you heard about what EMTs have to do, how they struggle to get people into a stable condition on the way to the hospital and, and so forth. Just these are these one of these little things that help extend the possibility of saving that person's life or their limb or any other number of things. Again, something developed for space exploration to help people. <laughs> Be, survive in space. It's amazing what we've been able to do. I uh, don't want to talk too much longer about this. I just want to give everybody out there a sense of, like this is something that's really helped people. It's not for just the vanity of a few. It's not exclusively for the benefit of nation states. All that's a part of it too, but I'm telling you that I deeply believe that continued space exploration is very much to the benefit of everyone on Earth. And I think we can make that very optimistic future possible working together. One little bonus, weather satellites 
we take for granted. We just, you know, we tether the devices. Also, these devices, how, like, how we have all that because all the, the mic miniaturization technology and the microchips and the size. Oh my gosh, this is that's for another time. Just being able to open this up and look at the weather and find out what to do, just to be able to know how we're going to plan our weeks, our days, but but not stuff like going on vacation. You know, oh, we shouldn't go on this day, but we should go on leave on the next day because then it won't be raining or whatever, like that little stuff. But the big stuff to be able to predict the paths of hurricanes, just like all of these incredible things. Anyway, that's just a little bonus to throw out there. There are so much more, though, and I can recommend the NASA spin-off magazines. They put out a magazine every year since 1976 talking about all kinds of random things that have only been possible thanks to space exploration technologies. These are the things that have really benefited all of us. There's certainly, there's no way I would be able to have the joy of communicating with you the things that I like to talk about on this channel without space exploration like it, it just it connects has affected everything we take it for granted every day and there's a lot of stuff that we have to fix on earth and I, i'm telling you the space exploration is fundamentally part of that solution if you want to hear more about these spin-off technologies i have an idea of kind of like going through each one of them in, in future videos so if you'd like to hear more about that let me know below and if there's really important things like i just gave you my top 10, almost at random. But what are the things that you think have been so important and revolutionizing about space exploration, the technologies, the ancillary benefits, the secondary things, the fact, you know, the computers were kind of invented, the computers that we have today, the personal computers we have today. For that, like, talk about it below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel and all the work that I love to do. So, gratias, wobisago, karin humino oida, erroste, walete. Oh,